must start with me. T O G I, T O G I, go and come and this I got the tools to live by. T O G I, T O G I, go and come and this I got the tools to live by. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to call this Gogi meeting to, uh, to order. Uh, we're going to do a recap of all, what uh, we've got tools of the body, and we're just going to go through each of the of the sections so we have our own interpretation of what it means to us and how it applies to our lives. So with that said, I mean, before we move on, um, I'd like to read our Gogi purpose. The purpose of Gogi is to provide simple tools to everyone interested in making more positive decisions in our lives. We do this through sharing the Gogi tools, which are taught in many ways and formats, including independent studies, small study groups, as well as formal educational programming, offering course credit provided by institutes and educational organizations. Um, this week's objective, like I said, is just we decided to take tools of the body. So open that up. Let's establish what are the three tools that fit tools of the body. Anybody? The smart part, emotional part, and the old habits part. And which tool is that? The smart part is to, is your your new action part, your your thinking right part. The emotional part is your is your this is your filter for everything that you hear, whether you make a choice which you're gonna level it out. And our old habit part is the actions that got us into situations, places like this. So we have a choice to make a new action to do a smarter, better idea. Those are the key words, right? Yes. Okay, for what tool though? That's the boss of my brain. All right. Any of you guys have any other Opinions or just uh, interpretations of how boss of my brain works. I do. Boss of my brain is my favorite tool because uh, most of us we just uh, we've been thinking and we're brought up a lot different than uh, what we're learning the tools to, do, to deal with now. We have our emotional parts where we just jump the gun without even thinking about it. Uh, we have, our old habits is all that we knew, um, so we would react and most of the time it got us in whatever it got us into. And then uh, smart part, you start thinking different. You start utilizing your tools and you start. Um, identifying your emotions and how to work with them. When you put something that goes in front of you, and that's why I like that, because nobody can make me feel or think or uh, act unless it's me. If I'm gonna let somebody push my buttons, then I'm just going backwards. So bossing my brain, it, for me, is a thing as simple. Um, I have to control myself and be the boss, and don't let nobody boss me. That's why it's my thoughts, actually. Okay, so anybody else got any more feedback on, uh, on, their, on their feeling or sentiments about bossing my brain? I like bossing my brain because I'm in control of my brain. I'm not gonna let the next person get into my thoughts, emotions, and control me. So I've learned how to, uh, to get a better understanding of the emotional part when someone's talking to me and, and, and just put them to a side and be the boss of my brain and not let them dictate my emotions. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, the next tool, the second tool, or tools of the body is? Probably breathing. Breathing. Anybody got any take on that one? <laughs> Me personally, that's my that's my tool. I mean, I, I find uh, I, I I find I find I find comfort in it because I'm able to breathe and, and I'm more in control of my emotions that way. I mean, when I start getting angry, I just have to remind myself. I'll, I'll fidget with something, and usually I have a tendency of having a rubber band around my wrist. And that for me is like my my go-to thing, just to keep me keep me settled and make sure keep me uh, concentrating on what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. Um, like I told you guys, I, I've shared it before. Where I just kind of like uh, all you have to do, understanding belly breathing, you can walk the yard and you can see people how they breathe and you see what the type of conversations they have. And for me, I find comfort in it, knowing that hey, man, you know, everybody's on the same page. And that's a good thing. And for me, dealing with any kind of situation for myself and what I'm dealing with at home or just, you know, even my homework and stuff, I just I, I take pause and take a deep breath and, uh, um, and I'm, I'm in control. And I do feel a lot more confident in myself and my action and my decision making when I do that. You know, for the most part, there's days that you guys are going to see me. You have seen me with four or five rubber bands, but it's all good. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> But hey, you know what I mean? There's none today, so I'm good. But uh, for me, that's my tool, you know, and that's how I take it, you know. Um, it, yeah, that's mine. Anybody else? 
And the, the, the key word, I guess, would be one hand on my chest, one hand on our stomach. Which one is moving? When our belly, when our belly's moving, our, our, we're more focused. We have oxygen to, oxygen to the brain, so we can process our thoughts better. It's also a really good tool for me. It's belly like breathing. I was like, uh, we've been hearing this since we were kids. Stop, breathe, count to 10. Something you hear over and over and over. <clears throat> Everybody's been telling us since I was little. Um, I heard it. I didn't, I didn't know what they meant, really. I was just trying to calm me down and keep me quiet. But when you see the tools and it tells you, like, to focus on something, concentrate on your hand, concentrate on something. And then once you start that breathing, you can start getting rid of some of that thoughts out. But it's something that was, man, I, all of us have heard it, I'm pretty sure. Count to 10 is, when I first read it in the book, it was like, made me laugh, like, man, what kind of stuff am I reading? But when it starts to show you how to use the tools and start to really do it, and then that yoga, and all the little stuff that I've been hearing throughout the years, boom, well, puts it in, in, into perspective, and it really helps, because it does give you that second to just calm down. But that's one of the same things when I was younger, same thing. My aunt always would tell me, hey, count to 10, count to 10, you know what I mean? And I, you, never even, you never even thought about it. You say, yeah, whatever, you're just crazy, right? But but, uh, you know, as you start to get a little bit more mature and start understanding it, you realize that, you know, you've been told, we were instructed all these tools, we were taught these, we just didn't know how to apply them. And now that we've gotten older, we can apply them now. You know what I mean? Just now we have more, we have, uh, we have a manual, in other words, to help us get there. And it makes it a lot more easier for us too, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, it does work. And I, like I said, you know, and if it all fails, you can always use a rubber band too, so it's all good. Really. <laughs> <laughs>